Hi, Dave Jack here, Superintendent of Falcon County Public Schools, with another edition of Three Great Things. Uh, I saw a lot of great things this week. This was indeed a extraordinary week, um, and it started off with maybe perhaps one of the best staff development uh, activities workshops um, I've I've been involved with either as a teacher or an administrator, and that was. Uh, George Kuros, who was with us and presented to Falker County Public Schools teachers and administrators on Monday. He's, he's the author of a book called The Innovator's Mindset, and his most recent book is called Innovate, Innovate Inside the Box. Uh, it, it was just a great day, and he said so many really important things, provided so much um, inspiration to the teachers and administrators in the room. And uh, it was just really good. It, it, it was one of those experiences where it sort of caused me and I'm sure a lot of others to sort of step back and sort of reevaluate our thoughts and our thinking about things like assessment and social media and the use of technology in the class in classrooms. And it, it just it was just a really good day. And I, I think most folks who are there probably feel the same way I do. Um, and then later in the week, I was able to go over to Smith Elementary for a girls fun run. But it says girls fun run, but there was a boys fun run as well. Uh, so the girls ran first or a mile, and then the boys uh, ran a mile after uh, after the girls. So and these are all elementary age students from around the county. Uh, and I didn't catch the winning time for the girls, but the winning time for the boys was five minutes and 48 seconds. So I want you to think about an elementary student running a five minute and four, five, five minute and 48 second mile. That's that's pretty amazing. But it was it was really neat, really well done. And of course, the the goal is to have more physically fit students. So hats off to the PE teachers around the county, elementary and middle and high. But uh, in this case, hats off to the elementary. PE teachers for putting this together, and it was a really great event, and uh, a lot of great enthusiasm at Smith Elementary. And um, something a little different, my third thing is, um, I'm kind of double dipping a little, I did a, a podcast over our transition center um, with four or five students who um, are part of the transitions program. Transitions program is, is for students who are um, who have disabilities and who are um, mo most often out of high school or, or high school graduates and are looking to transition into the work world of work. And so the, the transition program helps them make that transition from being you know, high school students to actually working in various businesses around Fauquier County. But they also do other things like um, train students on how to do laundry and uh, train students on uh, how to manage their money and maintain a budget. And um, it was just a great podcast. It was it was great to spend time with those kids. And um, I'm I, we are, are so fortunate as a county to have a program like that uh, for um, for these kids. And, uh, you know, I don't know what other counties do. But I know what we do, and we, we provide these services, and it's it's really great, uh, really good people, uh, and the kids seem to be really benefiting from it. When I asked the kids specifically what were the benefits to the program for them, they, they mentioned things like managing money. Uh, they talked about, you know, having respect uh, and treating customers, you know, politely and respectfully, and... Um, you know how to how to you know behave or uh, carry yourself in the workplace. So I can't say enough about the transitions program. I, I, I thanks thanks to all the folks who made that a possibility uh, for Fauquier County Public Schools. So uh, anyway, that's it for me Friday. Hope everyone has a great weekend, and we'll see you all back uh, for three great things next week.